the time of those committee hearings, Matty McGrath TD was a fearless and forthright voice for honesty and, tr and truth during the hearings. He spoke up for the unborn, he spoke up for life, he kept his promise to the Irish people, and here to tell you what he thought of the hearings is one of Ireland's best loved public representatives, Maddie McGrath TD. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. And how, do I follow, how does the humble man from Tipperary follow our last speaker? He was just so brilliant. <laughs> Josiah, I think, and his wonderful family. And to be touched and to have listened to that human story, you know, how lucky he was to be alive, it makes me all the more privileged to be one of your so-called legislators in the House of Eurocus. And it's a privilege for me, elected by the people of South Tipperary, and to stand up for my principles, and I don't mind who uh, ignores me. I suppose I'm fortunate, and I met Mahan O'Keefe there from Clan Mel, but I'm fortunate to have the parents that I had and the family I had, and to have that sense of values that I uh, profess to the best of my ability instilled in me and passed on to me by my late parents and family. So I'm privileged in that right. Just to Just briefly, to give a brief, uh, I suppose, disappointing um, chronology of the, what happened at the, those the committee hearings. There were, as, as um, our lady um, introduced us, um, said they were set up by Indy Kenny, a teacher Kenny, to Maria, is what I said, to give, an expect, uh, give a, a, a sense of fairness and a sense of hearings. But literally, it was a fast from the morning we started to the time we finished. Um, It was one of the most contrived situations that I found myself in public life, and I'm involved in community and public life since 1978 or 9, and I'm involved in many issues. But this, first of all, the whole structure of the committees under this new government that were going to offer transparency and change was all changed, and the committees are totally, totally orientated by a government, a huge government majority. So, and they had some hand-picked uh, people, especially this, including the chair who was not impartial. I couldn't say he was, nothing personal against Deputy Buttermore, but there was no impartiality. It was just Lee. <laughs> and I just quote, I just quote one um, abstract from what I said at the time, the day, the day of the closing data of the committee. And yesterday, in his closing statements, the chairman said explicitly that the bill as it stands only provides a framework, but not the detail. It is not the final bill, it is not the new law, and it is a preliminary document. This morning, which was the morning after, and that was actually on the, the day, 22nd of, of May. This morning, during that, on the 26th of, of, of May, during an interview on News Talk Radio, he also explicitly stated, that being the chair, same chairperson, that the provisions will be made in the bill for a woman to obtain an abortion on the grounds of a risk of suicide during pregnancy. And as I said, this was a deeply conflicting state of affairs and it did display that the chairman had already decided uh, to ignore the expert testimony has been referred to and was coming up there in the video uh, that came before us. And they were the good people that came before us. And from the different sides, they were honest. Uh, they gave their, um, their, their honestly held views and they stood for questions, sometimes for an hour, for an hour and a half. But on the morning that Minister for Health, James Riley, came in, we taught for a two hour session. He read um, a 12, 13 minute script and he fled from the room. As I said, faster than Cornwall fled from Ireland at the time. <laughs> Left the room, took no questions and no engagement. And I was shocked, genuinely shocked, that the Fianna Fáil people there, the, the Labour people, Fianna Gael, and indeed Sinn Féin representatives, and many independents didn't uh, object or, or um, question them because we understood it was to be a debating se session as to how the whole formation of the committee and uh, the, the, the body who had lost one of their members, and we had some questions around that as well, and the whole issue about how we got to the committee and how the people were selected. I myself had submitted some names, many from people, probably some in the audience and groups, that who wanted people who they felt could add value to the committee and could give 
you know, a different side to what has been uh, maybe heard from some of the uh, other speakers, and to have fair and have balance, which is supposed to be right in a democratic uh, uh, um, country and a democratic state that we're supposed to, meant to have. And um, on the Friday before the committee was starting on the Monday, we still didn't know who was coming before us to address us. I still couldn't tell people uh, I didn't get a refusal or I didn't get a comment back to say, yes, I or maybe, that any of those guests that I had, I had offered themselves would be called. So it was a very select group, but in fairness, some people came and did a very good and arduous job in arguing the, 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 the facts that suicide it was not a treatment uh, for anybody, or suicidal thoughts was not a treatment for anybody um, in a situation where they find themselves pregnant in an unwanted pregnancy or whatever reason. And that wasn't listened to at all, and those people weren't brought in. And as I said, it went on from day one, all the three and a half long days, the optics were very, very cleverly arranged. We were meant to be working very, very hard, long, tireless days, but it was the toughest, one of the toughest time, times that I've been in Linster House because uh, we were in a minority and we weren't uh, listened to, and if we said any comment, any comment at all we made, it was picked on by an unfriendly media as well, which were fed and were... Um, They had the leaks and they had their, uh, you know, um, I've met some media people since. And people who I had got to know in the five years I'd been there in the last government or four and a half years. And Matty, we're still friends, but we don't like the way you think. And that's what I've been told by a small number of them. But it's hard, it's hard to imagine what, you're what answer you're supposed to give to that. Are you supposed to go away and get a training course on how to think like they think <laughs> or whatever? Or are you, are you to um, just like the Taoiseach, forget your beliefs, forget what you wrote to hundreds of thousands of people, and, you know... And I'm not here to be, I'm not here to be political, and I probably shouldn't have said that, but that's what happened. The people were told one thing, and they got the other. And that was... Um, and I was fortunate to be in, at the march in O'Connor Street, and, uh, you know... Days before, or Saturday before, I think we, the, the bill was passed, and I couldn't get over the crowd. And the sheer uh, honesty and seriousness and behaviour of the wonderful people who turned up from all corners of Ireland. And you know, I said, I hear this now going home tonight on the, on the news, on the radio, because I was travelling back to Tipperary, but I think we got item four at the very end of the 10 o'clock news on radio I'm talking about, so I couldn't, I just couldn't. I should have been, I suppose, able to understand it, but getting back to the committees, that's uh, the committee experience. It was a strange experience. I'm no longer on the committee now. I've been replaced by um, Deputy Claire Daly by my uh, independent colleagues. Um, but I'm not surprised there either. But look, um, I will continue, as I said, to, to, to do what I can in, in there. But as you know, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange environment. And um, things happen. But the committee experience was very disappointing. Um, Compared with other committees I've been on, certainly they've all changed because they've all got very, very big it's since they were supposed to be uh, um, you know, amalgamated and made more streamlined. But they got much bigger and much slower and much harder to do and get any work done, any business done, or any meaningful questioning of, of you know, guests other than the Public Accounts Committee and maybe the Finance Committee. They don't have uh, the T's. And we, didn't, we certainly, and I speak as a member there of that committee, the Health Committee at the time, we certainly didn't give due consideration to the guests from all, from all sides of the argument that came before us. And we were denied the right by the, by the group, um, ladies or women hurt by abortion, to come in. Who better could have spoke to us? But they weren't allowed in. So, I mean, the very uh, basic, you know, uh, raison d'etre of a committee to investigate and to probe this so-called, um, you know, bill at the time and the nuances of it. Like, it was, it was like going on the field, you know, with... 10 on one team and 20 on the other, and the ref was cl clearly a member of the family of the other team. I mean, it was just wasn't fair. It wasn't exhaustive. It wasn't honest. And look, we didn't get, I mean, we, they got the result they wanted. It was actually a contrived situation to get this through as quickly as possible, get it over with three long days in, in January, three more long days in uh, June, July, and get it back into the house, sit all night uh, to rush it through. The indecent haste was shocking, you know, and we know what happened. And... Uh, the, rest, the rest will be a sad history, unfortunately. And uh, as I said, our last guest proved 
how fortunate he was uh, to survive an attempted uh, abortion. And um, look, I don't have to say any more to you all. You know um, yourselves while you're here. I'm honoured to be able to just relay this experience, the sad experience that I had on the committee at the time, and I will continue to pursue my, my um, uh, God-given rights to the right to life. Gor Mahagwef. <laughs> He's independent and he's pro-life.